Hello, Luigi. No, I just was Luigi X Rules playing Thunder Zelda Breath of the Wild. The last episode, we did this annoying shrine with a maze. Found out that you could just turn the, the, the controller backwards since it's motion controlled. It's really hard to get it over. We also got the chest, which got, had a bow in it. We explored a tiny bit of Hato Village. In this episode, maybe we'll find a place where our memories are. Come talk to Clavia. Morning. You're a traveler, aren't you? Then listen up. What is it? You see those trees up on top of the snowy mountain there? Yeah. Found a small letter stuck between the pages of this old book in my house. It said where the three summit trees become one, turn your back to them and head toward the sea. A trial encased in stone awaits you there. I don't know what that means. Maybe it means that we have to head to a front. A from sea of coast, which is just east of those three trees on the mountain, for the trial and gates of stone. But I wonder if you can get some kind of treasure for doing that. But I have a child; I can't just go off on a journey across the mountains. We, you can do that, right? You'd be great at that. Go on, head out there and bring us to that treasure. Yeah, I thought that was for a shrine. This guy has a side quest for us. Chicken, everyone out today too. The chicken just never stops. Ever stay at the top, at the Tanpu Inn? Mm, no. If you're not staying there, then I'm supposed to check out everyone. Comes here in town, right? Right. Thought so. I know many things. They think it's been peaceful recently, but the outside world is still pretty dangerous. Yeah. So I got to check out. Sure, if there are any, uh, I mean, suspicious folks have come on here. Beauties. If you're lucky enough to stay at the Tanpu Inn, you'll see what I mean. Say hello to Prima for me if you do. I wish she knows who I am. Stop. I have to give her something. What kind of gift do you think Prima at the Tanpu Inn? Like, just take a guess. Not for me, you understand. It's for my buddy's friend. Yeah. Hi, person. Fancy seeing yet seeing you so early in the morning. Best place to rest up and all the it's Tom Poo and just plan stay just tuck the work across the counter. Tom Poo in Talk to a girl that was staying here, right? This looks like a pot lid. Not like I want that anyway. Nice that there are Quaroks in the skin though in the last episode. Hmm. It's the Tom Poo Inn, right? I can get up there. Eh, that's weird. Definitely make it big. So, so, what do you like? Why is she asking? Whatever, I'll just say something random. Something I really like. Crickets. There's no nature in that area. Hundred restless crickets. That's it. So obviously. Primus said. Break the news. Obviously, it's not. It's not real. Seriously. Obviously, it's not real. I mean, it was over here. No, he's over here. Hey, Manny. Yeah? What is it? I talked to Prima. What do you mean? Prima told you what to do. Prima never even talks to me. Uh, I mean, that's cool. That's cool. So then, what is it? There are some restless crickets and a hundred of them? <laughs> what a small world. I'm assuming, um, that was at random. I love restless crickets. I'm an, I'm a connoisseur of them. I think that's what that word meant. But catching a hundred of them is going to be tough to, you know, I could start all those. I'm going to get you a ton of them. I'll get you something nice for your trouble. There's a pack mule here. So now I have to... Give him ten of those restless crickets also. That was one of the special ones. You know, okay, so now obviously I'm supposed to give him... Where did my restless cricket go? Here. Ten of those guys. 
I still need ten times the amount I have. Do the math, I. I have one, and then I need nine more. I have no idea why I did that. I don't know, I thought they said something about a guy who would upgrade something. Okay, okay, I've got the screen cap. Your customer, right? Yeah, that's right. Oh, and it's a customer! Looks like his clothes died. I'll leave it to you. You can dye your clothes. I'll give me a few. Were you looking to add some color to your wardrobe? Who do you do? Did you just say you? Do you do? If you die, stop. Or you live to die if you have any dying greetings. <laughs> I don't have any dying ingredients. I <laughs> Come around again. Every day is a good day to die. This person's weird. I jumped. Dead. I jumped in. La la la. It's true, I really saw her. Uh, oops. Uh, sorry, what did you see? There's a girl staying uh, up at the Hitino Ancient Tech Lab. I saw her come outside. She was right over there. True. When I tried to talk grown up about it, they said the only people who have lived there are an old man and an old woman. She was a chica girl, I swear. No one ever listens to kids. What do you mean, mountain? Tech lab, I know about that, but... Where is the tech lab? Because I'm pretty sure that's what I'm searching for, right? I'm searching for that, right? What's this place? I'm going to step all over your table and your pots and... Around, I'm just gonna jump off. Hi, person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, say no, say not to pry, but I have, I have to ask, who are you supposed to be? And it's my job being that nights and days are switched for me. So please let me sleep for just a bit more. So he has a job that he can only do at night. I wonder what kind of job he has. I wonder what's up this window. Looks like you can't climb interiors. This windmill is weird. This is one weird windmill. Uh, on top of the windmill. Not sure why though. A pretty good view of the town. More on that later. And to head over in this direction. I want to find a weapon shop. I know there's there's somewhere. Can't find him though. Whoa. What did that um shrine quest say? Not to curse statue, the secret of the cedars. Um Turn your back to try on cases. Basically, when they line up, they said something about east, which is this way. It's, yeah, she said something about a coast. Probably here, look at that water. Be here at the coast. Also, it looks like we're 
really close to our destination. Fat kid. Yo! I can't see. Move. What? The girl from the Sheikah tribe. Oh, I mean, if I told you what to a spy, would I? Don't make me tell you on you. Kids. What about telling us? I think it's funny how there's a rock on a tree that had a core rock. Core rock. Get it? Get it? You guys probably don't think it's funny. What does this say? Hey, you know, okay. What do you mean I can't? Okay, here we go. Like, what do you mean you can't cut, cut the sign in this game? I'm gonna chop these trees down. That didn't work as well as I wanted it to, but stop it, Link. I used to get a bunch of apples from this. Apples can be pretty useful. I'm not picking up that tree branch. Maybe because they don't have the room, but also because they don't want to. Come on, Bob. Nah, that doesn't look like it did anything. I wanted to see if something would happen if I chopped all the trees down. Obviously, there's still one more tree, which I might try to chop down later, but... Okay, um... Why are there still more of these lanterns? What does it say? Mind the lanterns? Why, why are you supposed to mind them? Well, I think you should really have an arm. That is super far. Aren't we supposed to mine the lanterns? Look at that thing. Did the flames bleed and the furnace is hot? Do not touch! It's not hot. Yeah. the entrance to this place. Maybe, obviously some places you can't climb. This makes a funny noise. Pick up this lantern. Well, I can't do anything in here. Well, guys, we found the tech lab with pretty interesting music, to be honest. That looks like a guardian. Why is there a guardian on your roof? What? Why is there a guardian on this person's roof? You can even climb up to it. Oh, you can't. Wait, is it cold? Eh. I know what that makes a lot of sense and just I'm gonna put this on. Until I get something that better does my Why is there a ladder here? You're not supposed to be up here. Maybe there is an entrance down here. Well, there's definitely a way to activate this place. Because... I saw it. Hi, Hello. 
Or, I imagine you've seen so many books in one place. Never seen so many books in one place, sorry. Pretty incredible, isn't it? You've got all of Hyrule's unknown literature on ancient civilizations here. See that man over there? Pretty sure that's the man. Where's this the man? I don't know. As for the actual number of books, well, hmm. Is that the thing on your waist? Is that a Sheikah? There's no mistake. That's a real Sheikah slate, isn't it? I've never actually seen one person. If you could just show me the runes on it, I'd be most appreciated. Stasis. Ah, uh, Magnesis. Yes, yes. The remote bomb and the Pranus. And what else? Let's see. So that's it for runes, but... Hmm. Strange. Doesn't seem like you have the basic runes. Then don't understand why they're missing. There must be some reason. She can say it's damaged. Where am I? Ah, where are my manners? I nearly got to introduce myself. My name is Simon. You are Link, right? You know my name? Lady Impa caught up, came up to me with speed. You see, we are, we're told a young man holding a Sheikah slate will appear. And you must do, do all you can, can to help him. He will be the hope that awakens him from the... Slumber of Restoration, he, his name will be Link. Oh dear, I forgot to tell you something very important. Director, listen, Mr. Director, there, this is a real Sheikah Slate. Oh yeah, that's right, I have you to our director. Miss Pula. Oh, happens to be right over there. As for the 18 ancient tech lab director, Miss Pula. The world is foremost, uh, oh, as the <coughs> foremost uh, authority on ancient Hyrule culture. Check it. Sheesh. Zelda Master got this, got this on episode 5, and what is this, episode 12, something like that? Sheesh, I obviously have not played this game before. Check it. I have the utmost respect for Miss Pura and all she accomplished. I'm honored to be her assistant. That note, Link. You see, the director uh, may look like a young girl, but, well, that's not my, it's not my place to be telling you these things. You should talk to Miss Pura herself. Don't spill the beans. Hey, hey, are you surprised? The director of the laboratory is not Simon, it's me. Snappy snap. Anyway, Link, Linky, do you remember any dreams from your time in the slumber of restoration? You don't look like you've changed a bit in the last 100 years, but something must have happened in all that time. Well, no matter. I'm just happy you're still in one piece. You have to stand on a stool to be taller than me. Linky, what's with that look? You do still remember me, right? I don't remember. Really? Well, I'm so shocked. I don't know if I'll get ever be able to recover from this. Even though, a hundred years ago, he took you to the Shrine of Resurrection after Calamity Gain and fatally wounded you. Oh, it's her that took us there. Even though, I was the one who put you safely into the Slumber of Restoration. Despite all that, you still don't remember me? Uh, hmm, as suspected. After a hundred years in the Slumber of Restoration, the subject has Lost all memories. Noted. Can I see that notepad of yours? This looks like there's something. Looks like it's a Highland text though. Oh, sorry. I have a bad habit of taking notes rather abruptly like that. It's charming quick, isn't it? No, it isn't. Uh, anywho, do you have any questions for me? Oh, come on. Do I have to ask this? Obviously, the guy told us that you're an old woman, but... Really, Link? Really? Aren't you, child? How very rude. That's what I'm saying. It's not nice to talk about people's age, either. Okay, more perhaps it's not rude at all. I suppose that's actually a rather long conclusion to jump to. Even though the guy over there... Actually, you don't have to talk to him, so never mind. The truth is, I look uh, this way because of a failed experiment. Well, I'd say failed, but in some ways it was a success. I documented the full affair in my diary upstairs. But the whole thing is embarrassing, so I insist you refrain from reading it. Embarrassing. I just want to read it. Anyway, enough about that. Back to the top of that hand. 
Here you are after a hundred years. Here to defeat Calamity Ganon, who is growing in strength with every passing moment. And to rescue our beloved Princess Zelda, that is, if you've got the courage to try. And to help the one true hero, the one and only Pura, will restore the base, basic functions missing from the Sheikah Slate. And what do you say to that? Yes, please. I knew you'd say that! Alright then, Rich, they need you to run an errand for me. What's with that look on your face? You don't think I'd fix your seat? So pretty. Eh, I did. <laughs> hmm. Post slumber. Restoration subjects plate by assumptions. Let me see. Explain what this errand entails. You know the unlit for. Okay, you have, yeah. Could you please bring the blue flames into town? Oh, I'll also use it to light our furnace. The sweet little guidance stone will start working. What to do that? I used some runes. I wonder. Women see things like sweet and little. I. Oh well, I suppose it doesn't matter anyway. Okay then. Counting on you for that blue flame. I don't care. I'm just gonna teleport over here to the shrine and make you see like that. But where's the fire? When a wooden weapon or shield catches fire, you can distinguish it by equipping the burning item. Next step. Shooting stars. If you can, should see, see a star shoot through the night sky, the, mark the place where it lands. You might find something there. Ooh, that's nice. These lush thermal baths are found throughout the world. You can relax them for a while to replace your hearts. <laughs> That'd be cool if you just took your sh shirt off and lay on your, like, eye. Ah, yeah. Also, that is why I did not sell my cozy parka. It says I need to go over here. Yeah. Yeah, just fly right through those banners, I think. Wow, Link, sometimes you can be really annoying. Like, whatever happened to you and... Oh, there's a ladder right here. Okay, so it says, yeah, it's over there. Okay. <coughs> huh. I suppose I could trail the episode a little while. the wrong button. I could have just done this. It's how this book of that is. I said we'll catch fire. Put in this lantern. And then quickly unequip it and be equipped it. Okay, there's the next lantern. Let's see it. Oh, that didn't work. I just know that you can do that, though. I should probably go to bed. Where's the fire again? I'm pretty sure there is a fire here. Um, well, I guess I'll end off this episode here. Goodbye.